Hi, my name is Charmin, and I live in Southwest Florida, and we have a lot of pretty spectacular seashells down here. And I spend a lot of time on my beaches picking up said seashells. Well, today, I'm going to use some of these seashells in a little project. Now, my husband saw this lamp. He thought of me, swell guy, and he picked it up for me. Now, I don't really care for the seashells that are in there, so I'm going to take them out, and I'm going to put my own in there. And I'm going to show you what shells I chose, why, kind of how I went about filling this lamp with shells. So, let's get into it. Okay, so this is actually a project I've been wanting to work on forever. As I stated, I did not really care for the seashells that were in the lamp. So I have already removed them at this point. Now the bottom is quite small and it's not like I can stick my whole hand holding a seashell in there and start positioning things. It's just not gonna work. So I got these like really long tweezers and I thought that that would kind of help place the seashells in this lamp. And yes, it does help, but it's still not ideal. It seemed to me, kind of no matter what I did, I was gonna have a problem. Even if I was using those tongs and positioning the shell, they were still gonna kind of like move all over the place. And so then I was kind of stuck. Now what do I do? Well, I decided to use the same exact seashell. I'm just gonna fill this entire container with the same shell. How am I going to go about that? Well, with chestnut turbans, of course. Now, if you've ever been up to Honeymoon Island, I had just discovered this beach uh, maybe six months or so ago, and I had really wanted to take a trip back. So my husband and I went up there recently and we collected all of these turbans. So this is what I'm going to fill that lamp with. Now, before I fill the lamp out, though, I really wanted the most colorful shells to be on the outside. So I went through and I separated all of the ones that were more monochromatic and then the ones that were more, that had more browns, more tones, more colors to it versus those. So the plan was to get the more bland ones kind of on the inside. Oh, you didn't need to go there. So those I'm gonna to try to keep on the outside. These I'm gonna kind of try to keep on the inside. So that's the plan. Now, how do I keep that lamp where I want it? Well, it's not pretty. I know it's not conventional, but I'm using the term recycling to a whole new level. So I first cut it up for my kittens to play with, and now I'm just really using it as an extra set of hands. I want that base to be pointed up so I can kind of work dropping in the seashells. Now, this wire, I want to keep that in the middle so that the base is going to go back on correctly. It's all got to kind of line up. So that's all it is. Now I'm going to start placing the seashells, the pretty ones on the outside and the less colorful ones on the inside. Now I don't have much to say about this process other than I really don't know how you would have been able to fill a lamp that it was this shape with anything other really than the same kind of shell. Scallops would stack on top of each other, so it really needed kind of a round-ish shell. I know my thing's fallen over, but you get the idea. I was able to fill that with the turbans, and for all intent and purposes, I think it came out pretty much the way that I had anticipated. I get to see some of the colors on those shells, and I like the way that the insides, the outsides, every the way, you know, any way you turn that shell, it's kind of interesting. So that's why I picked the chestnut turbans to fill this lamp with. Now I did have a lamp shade for it. I don't particularly like it, but all in all, I am happy with this project. And again, if you are going to try to do a lamp or anything like this, look at the size of the lamp, how big it is and how big that base is, because that's really gonna kind of tell you how you're gonna be able to work and position those seashells. I do have a little bit of OCD. I kind of like things the way that I like them. So that's why I didn't like that original way that the shells were kind of piled in this lamp, but I do kind of like this. What am I gonna do with this lamp? Well, I'm really glad you asked because I'm actually gonna sell it. I'm gonna put this on my Etsy store. 
And right there on screen, you can head over there, swfbeachlifestore.etsy.com. I have some other things on there, some seashells. My next project is actually, I'm going to make another shell mirror, and I'm going to put that on Etsy too. So thank you so much for watching. Have fun over on my Etsy store, and I will see you out on the beach.